Okay, I said Friday night that we weren't done, and uh, I really believed in this team, and when we talked to the team Friday night, we didn't dump on them like a lot of coaches might when we played like we played Friday night. We just told them what we told you guys earlier, that we'd won 20 straight games and we could win four. And it's all about players, and I know that's what coaches always say, but it's the truth. It's all about players. These kids refuse to lose, and they wanted to advance, and they wanted to play in the Super Regional, and they did everything they needed to do to do it. We got through some injuries. As you probably saw, one of the reasons L didn't pitch very much in, in this tournament was told you for the last couple weeks we've been working through something and I'm positive she'll be 100% next week when we go against Georgia but Ivy had to carry a tremendous burden the whole time and did it fantastic. Shelby when Ralph moved you down in the order you exploded offensively after that was it what what was the difference for you because I think you were what three or four in this game three of three in another game or two of three what was the difference out there? Um, I think um, we they, the coaches came together with me and a couple other players on our team. Um, I think it was Friday or yesterday. And they just wanted to get us a fresh look and um, just a different perspective of our at-bats. Um, so it was really just kind of taking a step back and, um, and just, uh, I don't think anything to do with moving down the lineup changed anything. Um, I, I just think we just, we refocused and um, really tried a different perspective in a different way to go about it. So I think that's what helped me the most. Ralph, did you feel any, after losing that first game, did you feel any more pressure? No, John, honestly, I didn't. Um, I knew that the two teams we were playing yesterday that we had, you know, we could compete with them. Uh, I didn't know much about Virginia Tech, but was able to watch them. But one thing about our team that baffles a lot of programs is our speed and we decided to go a lot more to our speed game and you saw it today. And uh, you know, you just can't, in this game, you can't feel pressure. It's, it's a little bit different from any other one, I think, except baseball, because you could play five different games in two or three days, you know? But uh, I will say I wanted to win. Ralph, did you, uh, in light of what's going on elsewhere at the university, not a lot of success this year in sports, do you have kind of an awareness that maybe you're carrying a load for the rest of the for the rest of the programs with your success? Do you ever think about that? Well, I, I don't have that awareness, and and you know the the answer that I give you and I need to give you is I see all these other programs on the rise, but we're proud of where we are, and we're proud of our status more so in the SEC. You know, the last two years we finished one game out in the SEC, one doggone game, and still won the tournament last year. But we have a driving desire to get back to the World Series. That's what it's all about for us. And we have a big challenge waiting for us next weekend. Um, but we just try to be the best we can. We try to represent the university the best we can, and that's what we try to do. Raven, what does it do for the team's confidence to go down in the whole one game and have to come back and win four in a row? What did that do for you guys this weekend to do this? Um, I think it just shows that you know what we're capable of. Um, you know, we didn't like stress about it and we didn't, you know, try too hard. We just played like our own best self and I think that's what this whole thing showed us. That, you know, we have the capability with our depth and our pitching and our hitting and our defense that even if we go down a game, we can still do it. So I think it just gave us like a preview. If you had to pick an MVP, do you think it would be Ivy for what, what she did this weekend? Absolutely. No question. <laughs> Ivy, obviously this is the most postseason buying you've gotten in a while. I, I wondered about your durability. Is it is it an issue for you at all throwing that much in a day? Um, I mean, yeah, you, may, you get a little worn down, of course. Um, but uh, you just have to keep going. I mean, you can't try to be perfect. Like, that's way behind you trying to be perfect. It's just throwing strikes and going after hitters, really. Ralph, you, you laughed when I said that. Is it that obvious the MVP of the weekend is Ivy? No question, no question. And uh, But the one thing I was asked about a lot, not in the press conference, was about Ellen. And as they'll tell you right here, Ellen's 27-game 20, winner in an All-American. And believe me, Ellen will have her time, okay? But this weekend, um, Ivy was at her peak. And we needed to go with Ivy, and we did. Well, is there something wrong with Dylan's arm? Um, minor. 
I please, I'm not allowed to go into it anyhow. But it's no. it's a minor fundamental thing. That's what it is. But you think, think she'll be better? Yes. To, yes, I I really do, and I think she probably could have gone further today, but you know we had a couple of walks to start um, the inning, and and I've already been asked about that too. And my job is to win regionals, and I felt like you know at that point. We didn't have a really big lead. I think there was seven to two, I think. But I didn't want to put our kids in peril, especially since we weren't the home team. And I knew Ivy could come in and blow them away. Shelby, as a senior, is this special that you keep going? You playing next weekend? Um, for sure. I think um, not only for myself and the other seniors, but for us as a team, um, we obviously set goals that we wanted to um, win out our region and um, try to advance the World Series. Um, at the beginning of the year, we said that. So um, I think it's just special for all of us, not only for the seniors. Um, we, we, we know that what it means um, when it comes the time if we do lose, but um, we just, we're more excited for where we think we're going to go. Ralph, do you think opponents, by looking at videotape scouting, or have a complete understanding of how fast your team is, or do you think they have to actually see it in game conditions to appreciate the difficulty of throwing guys out on them? regular routine ground balls. I think they have to see it and they have to go against it. Teams who have not played us. The interesting thing about this coming weekend is, for the fans, this is going to be the two fastest teams in the SEC. And Georgia knows us and we know them, you know. And we played up here in a doubleheader and we split, you know. We split the doubleheader. So, boy, what a challenge of two great SEC teams and a lot of speed. Raven, Ivy was very efficient. I think she walked us one batter today. The defense was also very sharp. Do those two go hand in hand when the pitcher's working that efficiently and quickly? Does that keep you guys sharp too? Oh, absolutely, because, you know, she's out there doing her job. And, um, you know, we just want to back her up, you know, not just offensively but defensively as well. So when she's, you know, pitching her heart out like that, especially going inning after inning, game after game, I mean, we want to do all in our, everything in our power and just, you know, make the routine plays. Ivy, you're awfully quiet over here. What, what was your, what was the secret for you this weekend? Just that, that kind of control, just making sure you were efficient the whole time you were out there, because you did go a lot. Yeah, that's what for sure was throwing strikes and know, knowing that they're gonna um, play, make good plays behind me. Was for sure. That's how I, I tried to look at it. If a ball's hit to Tori Lewis, did you assume it's just gonna be caught? Yeah, she's such a great center fielder. Oh my goodness, like she just makes amazing plays. Like it's routine for her now. I feel like, but uh, she's an awesome, awesome. One final question. What does that do for your confidence as a pitcher? <clears throat> you mentioned your center fielder, Braven as a third baseman, making all his diving plays today. Mm -hmm. They have that kind of defense behind oh, you. Oh, yeah, it definitely takes pressure off of you, for sure. Um, having a great defense behind you. You don't have to rely on making a perfect pitch every time. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. One last question about the fans. How, how much did you guys need them this weekend? Anybody can take that one. Unbelievable, and I think, you know, we've talked to our administration about more seating because I think the excitement of this team and the other thing is the clean-cut athleticism of this team and the way they fly around out there, I think, draws a lot of fans. And they're great role models for young children, and, uh, you know, uh, it's um, just a great show.